Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. Wow, I mean, are we having fun? We just had the co-founder of the site that became Match.com, and now what is he doing with all of his money after he's done with that? Well, he's investing in startups, over 170 startups. Thank you again, too, for the wonderful feedback we've been receiving from the Big Lots CEO we had and, of course, the founder of North Face. We keep getting feedback from that interview. Well, it just keeps on going because next, get this, starts a business and it becomes over three billion dollars in sales i mean he is the ceo and chairman and founder of meritage homes welcome steve hilton to our show there's so much that's going on in the housing market steve i mean how long ago did you get started uh david thanks for having me on i've been in the business for 32 years and uh, loved every minute of it almost every minute <laughs> so what was the first thing that you did in the housing industry uh, the first thing we, I did was built a home right out here in North Scottsdale, 108th and Choya, with my partner, Bill Cleverly. And uh, one home turned into two homes, into three homes. And then before you know, we had a track of homes. And, and it's just and a domino effect. It just, just keeps going just and kept, going. Kept, kept building. Now, Steve, you absolutely have to be amazed then what's been going on with the growth in Arizona. Could you ever in a gazillion years believe the growth? Oh, it's incredible. Uh, you know, looking back uh, over the 40 three plus years that I've lived here in Arizona, it's hard to recognize uh, it today from what it was, you know, uh, many years ago. Now, there's a lot of people that are in the same industry as you, but you've clearly have, have led the way and stuff with that. What's the magic to be able to do it? Because a lot of people over, especially over 30 years, have come, have gone. You see people always coming and going, but you guys continue to lead the way. Well, we're very passionate about what we do. You know, we think we build a great product. We think we build one of the, you know, the best, uh, certainly the most energy efficient um, production homes on the, on the market today, built for a wide variety of price points, but we really stick to our niche and we're very focused. I think to be successful in business, you got to be focused, you got to be passionate and you got to persevere and real estate and home building is cyclical and uh, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. We've had a lot of both. Um, but we stick to our plan and we executed it well and here we are today. In fact, Steve, we're t again, we're talking with uh, the CEO, chairman, and founder of Meritage Homes, Steve Hilton, who could be reached at meritagehomes.com. Of course, we'll also have the link on our website, alliances.com at E-L-I-A-N-C-E-S.com. So now let's talk on, on Meritage and stuff. I mean, you guys, your company uh has uh was nominated w and became one of the best big companies in the united states according to forbes magazine for consecutive years i mean is that something that's rare for a home builder yeah, i think so i think so i think it was it was nice uh, recognition uh for what we accomplished as a public company over the last 20 years um and i think we're respected in our space and uh certainly the you know platitudes from like we got from Forbes, uh, you know, are nice to be acknowledged. Yeah, I mean, that's huge. What's, what, what's the favorite room in your home? The favorite room in my home? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's probably my, uh, I have a little uh, adult game room where I have my pool table, my bar, uh, my favorite chair. Where I watch the news at night, and, I, you know, I always tell my wife, there, there's, you know, I, I, I have two hours of sleep there, and then I have two hours of sleep in my bed. So Fantastic. <laughs> tell me about, though, you, and you talked about energy savings. Now, I mean, imagine 30 years ago, it really wasn't such a big thing. People really didn't even know energy savings and stuff. But this uh, and energy efficient uh, homes and stuff. What's the difference between uh, what Meritage is building now regarding that to what's been done in the past regarding energy efficiency? So in 2009, coming out of the worst downturn that we ever saw in the history of real estate, uh, at least in the last in modern times, we had to figure out a way to distinguish ourselves from the glut of used homes that were on the market. A lot of homes went back in foreclosure. There's a lot of homes available. So how do we sell a new home when you can get a resale home or a used home for a very low price? So what we decided to do is make our homes more energy efficient. So we designed a system 
where every home that we build comes with spray foam insulation. It comes with an attic that has the same temperature as the house. We totally re-engineered the way we build the home to make it much more energy efficient, which saves people on, on the utility bill, gives them more money to spend on the payment for their house. They can buy a bigger house. They can buy a house with more features. So energy efficiency was really the key to uh, you know working our way out of the downturn, and uh, it's really been the mantra that we've been living by. Now I'm going to have to ask you about the magic of how you make an attic be the same in regards to other areas of the homes, because i got to tell you, my attic is about a million degrees up there. You can cook up there. But we've got, again, the CEO, chairman, and founder of Meritage Homes, a $3 billion, that's with a B, billion-dollar revenue company. That's right, Steve Hilton. You can reach him at meritagehomes.com. And, again, you're listening with me. David Kogan of Alliances, the place where entrepreneurs align. Be part of the community. Go to alliances.com. You may even have the opportunity, perhaps, to meet Steve in person at one of our many various roundtable, grandtable experiences and others. So what's the magic to make an attic be the same temperature as the rest of the home? That's, that seems impossible, Steve. Well, we take the, take the vents off the roof and we seal the attic. So hot air can't get in and cold air can't get out. And we, and we seal it and make it part of the house. And is this for all new Meritage homes being built? Every home that we build comes this way. So what's the next thing within um, real estate in that? I mean, where should, if, if somebody is moving to Arizona, or you build in uh, other states too, right? We build in nine states, uh, uh, 17 major cities around the country, uh, pretty much throughout the Sun Belt from uh, uh, California to, to Florida. And you started in Arizona. Started right here in Scottsdale, Arizona in 1985. And what made you expand to other states? Uh, it's great business to be diversified. You know, the not every uh, local economy is the same. And some states, the housing market is stronger certainly than others. And uh, we didn't want to have our fortunes completely tied to the ups and downs of Arizona. So we got into a lot of other states. And so, Steve, somebody's moving to Arizona. They want to build with Meritage Homes, where should they go? You should go to our website, meritagehomes.com. We have about 30 communities throughout the Phoenix metropolitan area. Uh, pick the part of town that you want to live in and uh, see what we have to offer there. And what's the more popular uh, area, would you say, right now that's going on? Uh, we build, you know, in many areas of the city, uh, from the Far East Valley in the, you know, Gilbert, Queen Creek, Mesa uh, markets, uh to Maricopa, to North Scottsdale, uh, to the Far West Valley in uh, in uh, Buckeye, um, Goodyear, uh, and Surprise. So, Steve, let me ask you: What would you say to a group of Cub Scouts now? Um, they're they're Cub Scouts that are you know that they're active and they're working on building stuff of that. What would you tell them? Who maybe two to three secrets that you would share with them? Who perhaps would like to grow up someday and go into the housing market? the um, home market and stuff of like that, or become a builder or that? What, what secrets would you share with them? I don't know if it's, you know, Cub Scouts might be a little early, and I don't know, I don't know uh, talking about building at that young age is, is, Maybe is the, the right Eagle thing Scouts. to do. Maybe the Eagle Scouts. But I'd, I'd, tell, I'd tell any young person, for whatever career that you want to pursue, it's important that you're passionate about it. If you don't love what you do, you're not going to be good at what you do. And uh, when I talk to young people all the time, I say, you know, find something that excites you. Uh, find something where you want to wake up in the morning, go to work, you're, you're excited to go. And uh, that's how I feel about home building and, the, you know, our company. And uh, that's the way I've, I've always approached it. Now, we've got a little less than a minute left, and I want to ask you what you, you know, you do a lot of philanthropy work and stuff. What about what maybe one or two organizations you can maybe share uh, that you're passionate about that's uh, outside of Meritage Homes? Well, I'm, I'm involved in a lot of different things, but my two um, – probably biggest uh, philanthropic initiatives right now are my involvement with TGen, uh, which is uh, translational genomics, and my in involvement with the Banners Alzheimer's Institute. These are two diseases that affected my family, and there's phenomenal doctors that are working at these uh, medical research institutes that I think are really going to change the world. And if I can give my money and my time to something that's really going to make a difference for my generation and the next generation, um, you know, I'm all for it. 
Well, and I think it's cool. Phenomenal. Thank you, too, to Craig McClure at HD Broadcast AZ for nominating you to be on the Hero Show. You can reach him at hdbroadcastaz.com. He's also a member of Alliances. Well, Steve, you create homes for people to live in and enjoy their lives. You love what you do. You know what excites you. You give back to the community and help it grow. That's a hero. Steve Hilton, you can reach him at meritagehomes.com. And when we return, we're going to find out about the person from Project Runway. And later on, we're going to have number one Amazon book author and coach, Lori Handlers from ButterflyWorkshops.com. David Kogan with Eliances. Alliances. 